Andy in the house. Fishing OC, hooked on OC here in Ocean City, Maryland. Got a little bit of a windy, but nice day here. End of September. End of September means this water's cooling down. Rockfish, bluefish, tall tog, flounder, trout, drum, you name it. It's being caught in Ocean City, Maryland. I got the day off, man. So I'm gonna go out here and see what I can do as these clown shows fly by me in the six mile an hour zone. Made the South Jetty, maybe the Route 50 bridge for a little bit. I got some live sand fleas. I got the uh, stretches with me. Let's go out here and see what we can do on a beautiful September day in Ocean City, Maryland. If you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button, like this video, drop any questions you have down in the comments. Nothing rude, please, nothing rude, because I usually respond back rude. We don't need any of that. Drop any comments you have, questions, I'll answer every single one you got. Let's go fishing. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working out maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so I can make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape Now you are gonna lose some rigs out here. If you're not losing rigs, you ain't catching fish. I'm using our double header rig. Um, it's a real simple rig, top and bottom. It's got 50 pound monofilament leader, two hooks, one top, one bottom, a loop for your sinker, and a barrel swivel for your for your lead or your line, main line. I like to double my line up, so I'm gonna double my braid over here. Go through the eye of my swivel. And then just tying a regular old fisherman's knot, cinch knot, you just got it doubled. So around one, two, three, four, five, six. Back through the loop you made down by the swivel. Pull it tight, zip. Cut your tag ends off. Now my loop. For my sinker, I'm using two ounce sinkers out here. Should be plenty for what I'm doing. I can find one. There we go. Two ounce sinker, you just squeeze that loop down, go through the eye of the sinker, and then around the sinker. Simple as that. Like to use two sand fleas on a hook. Got these Mustad 4011 hooks. Just go right up through the shell of the sand flea, through the, the little digger there. One, two. And then up top, one, two. It's a great spot to use tog jigs or bottom jigs too, but this current's moving a little bit too fast for that. So I'm casting over here toward the South Jetty. South Jetty right over here. I'm casting right over to the point there. Current is outgoing, so it's whipping around this corner. And I'm getting my bites right over here and about 12 or 15 feet of water just off the tip of the jetty. Looking for the elusive sheep's head. Come on, sheep's head, come on. Sea bass or tall tog, small one. Sea bass or tall tog, small one. But I'm on the board. Here we go. Tall togus onitis. First fish of the day. I'll take it. What's up?
something small on here we got oh of course a flounder <laughs> flounder on a sand flea that's how that works not even close there he is paralichthys dentatus ate a sand flea typical flounder on a sand flea gotta love it i think i got snaked ah took me in the rocks wind whistle Side hook tall tog felt like something. Son of a felt like the bottom, buddy. Mm. Felt like I had a good one there, man. Side hook tall tog. You jerk. Get a D hooker, guys. D hooker, man. Looks just like this. Put it on the hook. Point the line down toward the water. A couple shakes. See ya. Get out of the rocks. Tall togus onitis. Another tall tog. Nice fish. Fun fishing. Got to weed through a bunch of these bad boys to get that sheep's head you're looking for. But still fun. If I get one 16 inches, they're in season. Thanks, brother. I mean, sister. More tall togs in the lip. All right, so while that tide's ripping over at the uh, South Jetty, I'm gonna give that a chance to slow down, but when the tide's ripping at the South Jetty, that means it's moving pretty good at the Route 50 bridge as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do a little dredging, right? Dredging is a technique, if you guys watch a TV show or pay attention to our social media, dredging is a technique where you get a stretch or bomber style lure. It's these hard body plastic baits with a lip up in the front, just like that. We use these at the Route 50 bridge and basically you either throw your anchor, you use your engine to uh, jockey the boat, or you have a trolling motor like me, you just throw that thing in the spot lock and let the current do the rest. Basically drop this thing down, drift it back there toward the Route 50 bridge, and then wait for a bite. Hopefully there's some bluefish or rockfish around, but this will allow me to kill a little bit of time while I let that uh, current slow down over there to South Jetty looking for these sheep's head, tog, and stuff. Um, really nice afternoon here in Ocean City, man. Let's do a little dredging.
I'll take it. There he is, baby, the old dredging technique. Dredged him up. Don't think he's gonna make it, but we'll check him out. Oh, there he is. Nice fish, man. Nice fish. Dredge that bad boy up. It's a pretty good one. Love it. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. One inch shy, baby. One inch shy, but we'll take it, man. Stretched him up on the old stretch lure. Sweet. Yeah. See you, brother. fortunate the pink stretch 20 the pink stretch 20 loving that thing the last couple trips oh ah, yeah baby that's right yes sir yeah